Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Wednesday, February 1st. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. First off, a couple of quick clarifications. Number one, the price you see over here will be changing and the candlestick you see there will be moving around. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. I like to do these videos when the market is still open because we can sometimes capture some late day price movement. That's really exciting. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. Stock number one here, MSGM, an absolute monster, monster move. And now we have a good solid pattern here. And when you have patterns that a lot of people are gonna be watching, so let me be very clear, this is not some sort of secret discovery. I'm not proclaiming that I have some sort of special skill. I assure you a lot of people have noticed this pattern. And I say all that because when a lot of people are watching the same patterns and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can produce some very dynamic movement. So the pattern here that in my mind, a lot of people are gonna be watching has to do with that tread line right there. And then you have this area of support right here. And just because, um, let's make it nice and proportional. There we go. And let me change that to green to represent more. So the bullish part of the pattern, and then maybe make it easier to see. Let's just make it all one color. So we have our resistance. We have our support. We have the explosion right there. And then a few golfers out there, I'll put the golf hole down here. We have ourselves what is known as a bull pennant pattern. So there are no guarantees in the market, but is it plausible to think that if the price can come up here and break through that level, that that in and of itself could create additional buying pressure? Absolutely. Even if it's just a self-fulfilling prophecy, that is certainly a more than valid and plausible outcome. So if you like to play bull pennant patterns, keep an eye on it. Next one, MGAM, another absolute monster here. I mean, in some ways been going straight up all day long. I realized it didn't literally go straight up, but I mean, very few red candles here. And as I speak, you can see the last 30 minutes. Once again, this thing is trying to make a push up to these highs. So overall, big movement here. And you gotta think that a lot of people will be watching it headed into Wednesday. So first key level, if you like to play more so pullbacks, key area of support right down there around $2.15. So keep an eye on that. And from an overall level of resistance standpoint, nothing fancy, nothing complicated here at all. Literally just the question of where did the party finally stop today? And the party stopped up there at those highs of $2.85. So keep an eye on that. And then for you pattern players out there again, maybe some people would disagree with this pattern. I wouldn't call them crazy, but you have not necessarily a bull pennant, but a bull flag pattern here that's starting to form. Uh, but overall, regardless of if you wanna even call it a pattern, the pressing dynamic here is that you have huge volume out of nowhere, very nice price movement, and not just a question of can this get more continuation? Can this make another push back upwards? Let's see what happens with it on Wednesday. Next one, CVNA, talked about this one in yesterday's video, so that is where the red and green line here are coming from, and both definitely played a role in today's movement. Uh, the tread line right here, the uh, red line, still is presenting problems. First problem it presented was the price did gap up through it this morning, but then, you know, it's almost like that tread line just suckered the price right back down. And then as I speak, once again, the yeah, the price is slightly above that red line, but you can see it's just a problem of momentum. So right here, had the gap up, opened right there, problem of momentum, down it went. Now the price is hovering right up around that red line and seemingly having problem with momentum. Does not mean that for sure, guaranteed it's gonna drop back down, uh, but it just goes to show that whenever the price has gotten up around that red line, uh, you know, the, the, mom the momentum starts to struggle. On the flip side of things, as far as levels of support, that green line, which I talked about, you can see did a fantastic job of providing support. So I mean, the power of charts to think that the price opened up here, dropped all the way down there. And what a coincidence, found some buyers right at that green line and then back up it went from there. So really the moral of the story here is both levels that I talked about in yesterday's video still hold true here. You still have the key level of support down here around $9.30 and you still have that resistance level right there, which as I talked about is presenting some problems, but let's see if the momentum can actually carry it back upwards and make another run up around that $11 mark. Next, H-I-L-S, and this one is a, a relatively rough looking chart, but it really just depends on what your angle was going in, what your perspective was. Meaning if you're a day trader, flipper, scalper, and you bought right there and your planner, maybe you bought right there and your plan was to buy and sell within 10 minutes, well then yes, from, from those angles, the chart looks really, really bad. But if you care about things from the big picture point of view, you, there's no doubt about it, today basically, a downwards channel has formed. But again, big picture wise includes, well, what was going on before this downwards channel? Well, the price was down here before exploding all the way up here, which has now allowed me to draw a bull flag pattern. 
and the bull flag pattern has some good volume dynamics. During this pullback period right here, you correspond that with the volume down there, and you can see a good low volume pullback, which is what you want to see. So if you like to play this price range down below $5, you like bull flag patterns, keep an eye on it. Next one, AMC, very, very nice day. And as I speak, which again, why I like to do these when the market's open, check out the last 30 minutes here, pushing to new highs as I speak. So you really couldn't draw up a, a better last 30 minutes here than what we're seeing right now. So there is no doubt about it that the, the bulls have made a push. And after finding some support down at that green line, which I talked about previously, like I said, no doubt about it. The price is pushing upwards with the last 30 minutes here, seemingly even gaining more energy, which brings about, okay, well, where are some of these areas of resistance at and what i'm curious about now is this overarching trend line right there which you can see and you know i've used that by connecting that point and that point and you can see now the price is getting very very close to it which brings up the big question mark can the price push up through that level call it a self-fulfilling prophecy as i said earlier call whatever you want because you got to think a lot of people have drawn this overall trend line a breakthrough there could very well create all other people to buy well just because oh i'm a breakout player oh this thing's breaking out oh i'm supposed to buy so sometimes you know dynamics are, are, are as simple as that so definitely keep an eye on that trend line in my mind that's certainly the most interesting dynamic here on amc going forward and you know the trend line right now right up around the five dollar 36 cent mark give or take so it'll be interesting to see if the price can break above it and then get that much more momentum Want to take a quick break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online training that I'm offering here in a couple of days. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen, you want to learn more about this tool, how it can be used to build consistency, to manage risk, then certainly get signed up for the free training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about the tool, then I definitely want you to get signed up for the free live training. Next one, CNTX, and another very rough pullback and goes back to that idea of, well, what was your perspective going in? Day traders, scalpers, flippers, buying right there, wanting to sell within 10 minutes. Yeah, for them, the chart is an absolute train wreck. But there is still some potential opportunity because you have a pretty well-defined trend line right now where if the price can push up through there, you know, could that potentially generate some momentum? Yeah, I can see that. But for those people that like to play pullbacks, I think the more interesting dynamic is a couple levels here. You have that level right there at the 97 cent mark. Then when I squeeze this up, you can see just to give a little bit more context. If the price were to pull back some more, then you have another interesting level down there right around the 85 cent mark. So like I said, that's just depending on, you know, how you feel about playing pullbacks and all that good stuff. But definitely a couple different choices here, whether you want to play, try to play some sort of breakout reversal or let this thing pull back that much more. Uh, there's some very logical areas. And of course, as always, risk management matters the most because there's no guarantees, but uh, certainly showed the ability to move and move very quickly today. Uh, and we'll see if this is just some little pullback before another move back upwards. Next one here, TSLA Tesla. And overall, and this will mean more to those of you that watched yesterday's video, but talked about how, yeah, that pullback here, yeah, wasn't the greatest, but at the same time, Tesla had been up so much that, I mean, nothing can go straight up, but the power of charts. So I'm gonna turn this into a quick plug. Get signed up for that free train. I mean, are charts perfect? No, but do they have a place? Absolutely. And you just can't make this stuff up. What a coincidence, right where the price decided to bounce from today. Right off that purple line there, the 50 period moving average and up it went. So, I mean, just classic example of moving averages and technical analysis as a whole, but you can see that overall, that purple line, the price has really respected it. Not as, you know, not as pinpoint as right there, but generally speaking, the price is showing that it does respect that 50 period moving average. So can continue to watch that as an area of support. And then also watch this 165 area, that green line right there. In the very near term, in terms of levels of resistance, key level to watch gonna be right up there at the 175 mark. And then if 175 is broken, you know, given it's Tesla and how fast this can move, probably should get 180 mapped out too. So 175, 180, next two key levels of resistance. But overall, the trend seems to be remaining in the bull's favor. Next one here, M-U-L-N. And a little bit of a disappointing day here in the sense that price came up here, broke through that red line, which I talked about in past videos, and then really started to act like it wanted to be strong, got all the way up there, and then had a very, very brutal, nasty pullback, which just kind of illustrates how the markets have been tricky lately. Uh, you know, things get a breakout and then pull all the way back. But to be fair, last 30 minutes, as I speak, you can see nice green candle here starting to form again. Volumes coming in, I would say pretty strong as I speak. So, you know, is this a, a turnaround to maybe give another go up those highs? Potentially. But what I want to do here is now just bring this level up because it's become very apparent that now the really new key level is right up there at 36 cents. Yes, that's where, where it was direct, rejected today. But 
when you correspond that back with history, oh look, it was also rejected right there previously. So that does not mean that 36 cents cannot be broken, but it is telling us that for whatever reason, there's a bunch of sellers up there at 36. So if the price is gonna be able to push through that level, then the bulls really are gonna need to bring their A game. Next one, AI, and very nice pattern here, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because you've already, already heard, you know, give me the, 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 the spiel on this, but we have that level of resistance right there at 21.25, and then you gotta think a lot of other people are probably drawing that tread line in like that. So let me change that to green to represent more so the bullish dynamic of things. And then to make this all the same color, maybe hopefully make it easier to see. Resistance, support, big upwards move there golf hole down there and we have ourselves another bull pennant pattern now, I, I know on the previous bull pennants those are lower price stocks so if you're someone that likes to play you know quote unquote pricier stocks then here's one that's up over 20 dollars. so keep an eye on that but yeah very nice pattern very nice uptrend massive massive volume today so we'll see if that can build a, be built upon going into wednesday Next one, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ. In other words, if you believe that the NASDAQ market is going to rise, this one will also rise. The difference being it just allows you access at a much lower price point as opposed to trying to go out there and buy QQQ. And you can see right now, last 30 minutes, very, very impressive. Good surge of volume. I mean, volume is pouring in as you watch it right there. Watching the candle there, good solid green candle. And it is approaching the red line there up at $23, which really brings about... The big question headed into tomorrow is, all right, looks like a showdown is, is is taking shape here. Grab your popcorn, grab your Sour Patch Kids, because $23 looks like it's gonna get tested. Now, is it gonna be broken? Nobody knows that. But if it is broken, then it's valid to think that that could generate more momentum. Again, going back to the talking point of self-fulfilling prophecies, but it's also realistic that it could get rejected back down. So you're gonna have longs, you're gonna have shorts, you're gonna have bulls and bears and everybody very interested about that $23 mark, but that's what makes it a, a worthwhile level. And that's the idea of a watch list is to find interesting, to find unique dynamics and not randomly rush out and buy anything, but to watch and observe and see what happens. So yeah, $23 is gonna be, a, a, in my opinion, at least a very highly watched level tomorrow. So let's see if the price can indeed get up there and break through it, because there's no doubt about it, this last 30 minutes here, uh, good green candle, good momentum. So let's see if it can break through 23. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to get signed up for the free live training. Like I said, it'll be a couple days, Thursday, February 2nd at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there as far as these top 10 videos are concerned. If you enjoy these, please do two things for me. Hit the like button, leave a comment below, say hi, tell me what you traded today, tell me what you're watching tomorrow. But those two things help out the channel. They communicate to me that you're enjoying. And as long as I know people are enjoying, I will continue to put in the time and effort to get this content out to you. So again, get signed up for that class. Hit the like button, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.